Really quick update on what's going on here in Illinois between Amron and the IBW. So the meeting that you see being held here was one of a few meetings that were held across the state. This meeting in particular was in Bloomington, Illinois. It was a short notice meeting, but the turnout was absolutely amazing nonetheless. And the members show to these meetings to voice their concerns regarding a letter that was sent out from Amron stating that they do believe they will be affected by the executive orders being passed down by the Biden administration as federal contractors. So they gave a date of December 8th for all employees and subcontractors to be vaccinated. Here's the kicker. December 8th didn't give most of them enough time to even get fully vaccinated. So it's complete BS. But they're showing to these meetings to voice their concerns because they don't support the mandate. They feel like the mandates are infringing upon their individual rights. And so they wanted to know that the board had their back and that they would be representing them and making their voice heard. And unfortunately, I think the members left these meetings feeling like um, that was not the case. The board definitely did not state where their loyalties lie. Steve Hugger did issue a letter to Dave Wakeman stating that until they have a response from Amron, it's going to be business like usual. So if anybody is disciplined or laid off or anything regarding the COVID vaccine, the IBW will be using their con contractual grievance procedures to readdress the actions. So that's where we stand as of now. So as of tonight, Amron has not issued a formal statement and the IBW is basically not saying whether or not they are going to back the members. And that's where we stand as of now. There, we have no answers. We just want answers and we want to know where the IBW's loyalties lie. It's as simple as that. So hopefully over the next few weeks, we'll have more answers. I have heard from some Amron inside linemen that they have been told that the vaccine mandates are inevitable. They will be being enforced in the next couple of months, but they will be extending the vaccine deadline. And that is absolutely amazing for those who want to be vaccinated. But the problem here is that vaccinated or not, people are standing up against these mandates because they absolutely do infringe upon our individual rights. So the IBW representatives really need to let the members know where their loyalties lie. It's as simple as that. So that's all I have for right now. Hopefully we'll have some better news coming through the next couple weeks. But if you have had a meeting in your state or your area, please let me know. I still would like to hear about the meetings that were held this week at 702. So please reach out to me and let me know how those went.